Hello, my name is Pavlo Gintov, I am a Ukrainian pianist, and this is the first of the videos that I called Music in the Times of War. War is arguably the worst and the ugliest of what we as humanity have to offer. But the extreme experience of living through a wartime has always inspired artists to create powerful works. Picasso's Guernica, Wilfred Owen's poetry, the anti-war novels by Remark and Hemingway. In my videos, I'd like to explore works by the composers who lived in the wartime, whose lives were affected by wars, and who reflected their experience in their music. Unfortunately, we are living in the time of war as well. And for this first video, I've chosen a very recent piece that was written during the ongoing war. In 2014, Russia invaded Ukraine and occupied Ukrainian Crimea in a part of a region called Donbass. This year, on February 24, 2022, Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine that turned into the bloodiest and the most violent war in Europe since World War II. In the midst of this war, young Ukrainian composer Yevhen Stetsuk wrote a piano piece that he called Sirenade, Sirenade with an I. Uh, on the title page of his work, Yevhen explains that it is the sirenade that the air raid siren has been singing to me outside of my window. Since February 24, the air raid siren has been going off multiple times a day in every Ukrainian city. You'll hear the sound of it in the end of this video. Russia has been bombing Ukraine indiscriminately. Russian missiles have hit schools, hospitals, apartment buildings, public squares. So when you hear the sound, you know that no one is safe. Imagine feeling this every day, multiple times a day. I heard from many people that at first they were very scared. They would spend the whole day in a shelter or the subway station, but then they learned to live with it. And the sound of the air raid siren became sort of a background to their lives, as terrible as it sounds. There are videos from the concerts that are being held in Ukraine these days, when the siren goes off in the middle of the performance, but musicians finish their piece, the audience claps, and then all together they go to the shelter. Doing your everyday things, going about your everyday life has become an act of defiance, a protest against this barbaric terror.
please let me know your thoughts. If you're a musician and you'd like to consider adding Ukrainian works to your repertoire, I'll post a link to a very useful resource uh, where you can find a lot of scores for pretty much any instrument. Also, if you'd like to support Ukraine, I'll post some links where you can donate to either humanitarian or military effort. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for supporting Ukraine. Slavo Ukraini!